in place in Group B this game day as we see the other three games from last night. And the unit hold on, taking the 88 to 72 win to uh, see themselves top of the standings at this stage, having played one game more than Tenerife and Venezia. The other one team will join Halon with one loss. Another team of these two will be the only unbeaten team left. The question is who? It is a sizable crowd here in Venice, hoping that it will be Rumana Rea Venezia jumping from fourth to first in that standing. So remember, we have eight teams, four groups of eight. The top four will advance into the playoff stages after the 14-game regular season. And really, as I mentioned, two of the hottest teams in this competition so far. The visitors, Ibero Star Tenerife, come into this one, having uh, been the only team so far this season to have won all their first three games by more than double figures, or by double figures, more than 10 points. They're the only team to have scored more than 50% of the field goals as well. There is their team, a very deep lineup for them. Could be any one of a number of players that will step up. They are led so far by Tim Abramitis. The, uh, the veteran really on this Tenerife team has been there for a number of years alongside guys like Rodrigo San Miguel um, and uh, Mamadou Niang as well. Players that have been there and done it for Tenerife. Remember, they are uh, former Basketball Champions League winners. And we'll get to that as the hometown team. Milana Area Venezia coming to this one. Said they needed double overtime in game day two. They come in off the back of a comfortable win against the Pavia. Nice to look out for for them. And started off the season well. The number nine, Austin Day, and number 50, Mitchell Watt. They've kind of led the way in the scoring columns for this Venezia team. Austin Day, 15th pick in the NBA draft a few years ago. And, uh, the key with this Venezia team is they have a core of guys that won the 2018 FIBA Euro Cup with their club last year after being eliminated from the regular season. And the Master Champions League moved into the Euro Cup where they had a fantastic year and went on to win the competition. So these two teams have faced off once before. And we mentioned um, Tenerife, pre previous winners of the Basketball Champions League two seasons ago. And we hosted the Final Four, fantastic event it was um, in 2016-17 season. And uh, it was that year at the Final Four that these two teams have had their only previous encounter. Of course, it was won by Tenerife on their home floor in that occasion, 58 to 67. A number of players on both teams were present for uh, Tenerife and for Venezia on that particular occasion. That is, uh, you know, both teams have a core group of players that have been with them and won European competitions before. That was Javi Baydan, a man who's had a fine season so far, didn't actually play in the, uh, the championship season in 2017 after suffering an ACL injury. What a return he has had since that point, though. Double-figure scorer for his team this year really does give um, you know, a versatility to their lineup. And here is the Venezia team, there is Austin Day, a key man, and number nine, here he is for his team. And, uh, that impressive perimeter game that he has. He can shoot the ball so well from the outside. And, uh, it may be three-point shooting, which will be the difference between these two teams. Both having a number of guys that can knock it down from the outside. Something to keep an eye on for us. And as Austin Day shooting 58% for three on the season so far. You know, impressive when you think he's taken four a game. So it's not as though it's on a, a, a small sample size. And then can stroke it with the rest of them. But Tenerife have a, a couple of guys who can do the same thing as well. As we see, uh, coaches. This man, Rafael for uh, Venezia. Right, teams get back to their warm ups, final stages for them. And what a game this is going to be. The top two battling it out in uh, the Basketball Champions League Group B. Yes. 
our officiating crew for tonight, veteran crew, a number of faces you would have seen before, Sonen Dozai, Luka Kardam and Marko Vladic, two from Croatia, one from Austria. Get ready to get underway, just like the players here. Two teams said unbeaten, Tenerife so impressive in their three victories so far, been so comfortable. Started off with a big win against Bonn at home and then you know, a near 20-point win at Nanterre on the road in game day two before last week, handling uh, Fribourg Olympic comfortably 91 to 68. Last week, uh, defensively, did a great job only holding a Fribourg team. Led in scoring Tenerife by 16 points of Nicolas Brusino. 12 points for Mamadou Niang. But the star, Tim Abramaitis, 23 points, 9 of 11 from the field. There is Niang, who comes in growing week by week. 6 for 6 from the field he was. And his 12 points coming in just 14 minutes. And Tenerife will be hoping to uh, get the victory on the road. They'll go with San Miguel, Iverson, McFadden, Abramitis and Baydan. There's their five, five San Miguel, Abramitis and Baydan. All players are in that squad that did win in 2017. Iverson has experience in the Basketball Champions League and then Thaddeus McFadden has been a good introduction. Talking about three-point sharpshooters, he is uh, up there with the best of them. The guard for coach Chus Vidaretta, the man there in charge of the Tenerife team. And let's uh, go to the bench early. I have a lot to talk about before this one. So then, uh, needed that double overtime to win in game day two, but comfortable victory last week, 90 to 72 in the uh, Czech Republic against the Pavia. They were led by uh, Austin Day, 16.7 rebounds, no surprise there. As uh, he often has helped his team. And they will go with Marcus Haynes, Julian Stone, Michael Brahmas, Day, and uh, Gaspar Vidmar. Vidmar missed the uh, first week of action, I think, in the Basketball Champions League. It was that uh, a late signing to the team for Vanessa. But uh, what a difference he makes. Uh, Vidmar, a man who uh, shot nearly 70%. The, from the field for Banvit last year in the Basketball Champions League. The difference maker in his ability to uh, score on the inside. A great pickup for the head coach. Here we see all the, the Rafael, and has been the Mets up. Ricordiamo amici che i quintetti sono offerti da Ferdinand Fusina con i suoi servizi attivi tutto l'anno, barca, auto, collegamenti diretti per le mezze dal Veroni, consulte le navi delle linee su www.ferdinandfusina.it Vediamo i quintetti delle due squadre, i per Stein, Stein. In that last bit of uh, stretching before he gets on the way here. Two teams pretty closely matched. Tenerife have the advantage in shooting percentage so far in this one, but no surprise, one of the finest offensive teams in uh, Champions League basketball. And, uh, Vanessa have the advantage, points in the paint, points from the bench, points from turnovers, fast break as well. You can see both teams have their way of playing. Watch for the ball to move quickly in that Tenerife team. As they now make their way onto the floor, Venezia in their white uniforms. Tenerife in the road black. As we are nearly ready to get underway. I'm looking forward to this one. I'm sure you are at home. Top of the table. Two teams that may well be there at the end of the season. Come May in the final four. Long way to go before that one, though. As we are set to get underway here in Venice. Oh, hello and welcome to Venezia. It is underway, top of the table, Group B. First possession for San Miguel and Tenerife. They immediately 
Start off with the reversal, looking for Abramitis. Well guarded as Vanessa playing that man to man. Oh, good little feed to the inside. McFadden can't find Iverson. Shot clock getting low. And that is not what you want to do. In the field of Vanessa defense, give an open look to Tim Abramitis. Can't hit the first one. We will not want him to be getting clean looks like that as Day catches it on the inside. Double team comes immediately from Bayran. They're going to leave Ramos wide open on the far side. And that's the difference. Ramos knocking it down as well. And a veteran player, Ramos. Knocking down first points for Venezza. Bayran comes to collect it. Wants the screen from Iverson. Iverson with that switch. Bayran. Has up the three, can't get it, great work from Iverson on the glass. And you see the intention from Tenerife early as Iverson kicks it, another look for Bayern. No, nope, puts it on the floor, kicks it, third three. Now this one is good from San Miguel. Well, Tenerife has said they shoot it so well from the perimeter. And then Bayern 53%, San Miguel 40. And Abramitis 46 himself, those are the three guys that have taken them so far so good looks to tie the game at three apiece Vidmar along the baseline Iverson holds his ground well but great work from Stone on the glass Ramos misses everything and this could be a shot clock violation they reset the shot clock ball did not hit the ring though you can watch the three from Ramos too strong didn't hit anything clock incorrectly reset so it'll be possession for Tenerife and is uh, Rigo San Miguel, 33-year-old point guard. Hits McFadden, hands it off to Baydan. Baydan has a lot of room. And he thought about taking the three. Day with some quick hands. Tips away from Abramidis. Stays with Tenerife. Though. Seven seconds on the clock. Solid defense, that possession from. And that's up. McFadden coming high. Here he is. Pulls up off the screen. Short on this occasion. It's going to be a little push in the back against Iverson. Possession with Vanetta. Crowd just hasn't quite got into this one yet. See some chanting, but volume will go up as this game does. Great crowd here in Venice. Just a little touch foul. Against Iverson. And now Stone, who is a matchup nightmare. Look at the size that Rodrigo San Miguel's given up against him. Day off a couple of screens, hesitates, goes, gets the groans of the crowd and finishes. Great little hesitation from Austin Day. Easy first points for him. San Miguel trying to find some room, has to back it out. Comes off the screen, waiting, attacking. Fouled by a day. Not really much happening for Tenerife. We're so used to the ball just moving quickly for them. Not really having a lot of dribbles. But credit to the Venice defense to kind of forcing that to happen, not allowing the ball to move easily. Here is McFadden finding San Miguel. Loses his man on the little crossover. Switch comes. McFadden attacks, pulls up. Too strong from him. Day doing everything so far. Grabs in the rebound. Now, it's a foul against Abramitis. Soft one as he gets the smile. Sideline possession. And the foul looks on. There's now Day. Trying to find some room. Comes off that screen, skips it to the corner. Haynes has been quiet. Goes back into the hands of Stone. He wants the screen from Vidmar. Good defense from Tenerife. Ramos, the tough three. Doesn't go. Abraminus grabs it in. Strong defense that time. Play down. Kicks it out. Gets it back again. Goes behind his back. Oh, great kick out. Look at the ball movement. Tenerife. But great defense from Vanessa. Now Abramitis only got three on the clock as foul is going to be called and it's going to be against Austin Day. He's got to be careful here. He might get a tech. 
He's already picked up two day. I'm not sure there was another whistle. Was that a technical foul? He didn't like it. You see the reaction. Referees don't like that. Still waiting to get the confirmation here. They definitely picked up the personal foul. That was his second. No technical, though. He's got to be careful. Sideline possession. Tenerife. What an opportunity with Day having to go out so early. He's been replaced by Mitchell Watt, who's been a you know, big-time scorer for Vanessa. But Iverson is going to get his first field goal. And Tenerife open up a little... I'm oh, sorry, tighter game here, five apiece. Different lineup now with the two bigs for Vanessa. Watt and uh, Vidmar playing together as the three is good for Haynes. First shot for him. Bedan collects it, comes off the screen, skips it to Abramidis. Again, a good defensive possession so far. But Bramos is caught on the switch of Iverson. No help comes. Iverson goes back to back. Another score for him. Ramos off the screen. Finds what? Beautiful pass. The extra one from Stone. Vidmardo has got to do some work still and can't finish. Abramidis flies in for the rebound. Dan in no hurry, reverses it through Iverson. Here is McFadden. Not able to hit on this occasion. Foul against Baydan. Stops the transition opportunity of Julian Stone. Smart play from Baydan. Look for the steal, knowing if he commits the foul. It'll just be sideline possession. <laughs> Conversation happening on the side. Stone gets it back. It's the screen from Vidmar. Tries to skip the pass over to Watt on this. Near side, quick hands though from Tenerife. Knock it out of bounds. 12 on the clock. Stone again to be the inbound man. He gets it back. Now he wants to screen from Vidmar. It's going to be an offensive foul though. That was racking up for Vanessa. <laughs> He's not happy. He just expected the boot. Yeah. Whistle though. Easy call to make, I think. Two on a day. Now one on Vidmar. So Kikai's picking him up for Vanessa. San Miguel. Organising. Gets it to Iverson. Iverson. Now McFadden trying to find some room. Switch. He's going to surely attack against Vidmar. No. He'll go to Iverson against Stone. Stone has the ability to guard the low post. You can see him holding his ground. He's going to get the foul. Julian Stone loves that physical challenge in the low post. You can see him holding his ground. Tries to reach in. Commits the personal on the ground. So before the act of shooting. Tenerife going to turn it over on the inbound. So the foul works. Stone held his ground. Committing the foul. And he wanted to... And line possession was then turned over. So it goes back to Tenerife, second. Two turnovers against them, just one. What finds the room, gets the finish. Mitchell Watt, first look for him. He's had a strong start to this season. What 21 points a game. Six rebounds as well. Should be an incredible 74%. From the field. The line 
He adds the bonus. Substitutions have come in. Change at the point guard spot for uh, Tenerife. This is first action tonight for Ferran Bassas. Made history as just the second man in the Basketball Champions League last year, last week, to so have more than 10 assists and zero points in the same game. After his 10 assists, zero point outburst. And substitutions now for Venezia. As Vidmar goes out and Paul Velaga comes in. McFadden gets a second to go. Two point game here. High screen. Stone trying to find some room. Picks it up. Eventually finds what? Great defense from Tenerife. Gillet is uh, just coming to the game as well. Pierre Antoine Gillet, the Belgium international. Just good hands on it. Three seconds on the clock. They try and go long. Tough catch. Stone makes a pass, but it's going to go out. Stay with Venezia. So Stone falling out of bounds, managed to save it for his team. Just one second on the clock. They go to the inside. What gets a look for the follow? Lagla couldn't finish it. Thought he was going to get the putback. Instead, Tenerife escape. Assas waiting, getting it back from Gillet. Now brings it high, wants the screen from Iverson, who rolls. Good skip pass, but McFadden well guarded by Haynes. Loses him, pulls up, it's going to be fouled, and he makes the three. <laughs> McFadden shot the three, looked towards the official, as if to ask, where's my foul? And then made it, watch. Takes it, looks towards the official before it's even gone in. Will get the three. And a chance to add the four point from the line. Baydan goes out. Kostaga comes in. And the German sharpshooter. At the line then. Douglas McFadden. That's it to go. And he gives Tenerife the lead on that four point possession. lead of the game for Tenerife. Yeah. Taking on the defensive end. What? Puts it on the floor. Goes all the way! What? Out of nothing from the perimeter. Tacks with that left hand. No one gets in his way. Ties it at 13 apiece here. Five points for what? Off the bench. McFadden. Hangs. Great rotation from Stone to tip it. Here come uh, Venezia once again. Jury kicks it now. Two not for three. Back to back big plays from Venezia here. First the dunk, then the three. Guys coming in and making an impact off the bench. This was going to go. The crowd not happy. Once again, this one called against Stone. I think that's the right call. Reached him from behind. Second. Two fouls against Stone then. He's going to have to go out. They also on the bench with two. So we said the, the bench crew for Vanets again. They're done. And the guy's coming in and making an impact. It's like, what? Tuna? And we need it now. The nickel out is in as well. So a complete bench five for Venezia. Belagia, the nickel out, Jury, Turner, and Watt. McFadden has had a strong start here. Only one of three from the field, but that's all he needs because he's got eight points personal. Now he's going to go out.
minute. So they're looking to the inside. What? Trying to find some room. Turns and finishes. I mean, what more could Chile do on defense? Mitchell Watt feeling it right now. This is why he's averaging 21 a game in the Basketball Champions League. Seven already for him. Steiger coming off the screen. Buries the three. That's what he can do. Another of that bomb crew from Tenerife. High screen. Turn up. Trying to find some room. Now De out. Kick. Open three. In and out. Just full for Guri. Rebound taken in by Nicholas Rossino. Sass comes to set the screen. Well, uses it. Five saves. Who finishes with authority. Great play once again from Basas. He's the man who had 10 assists last week. First one for him tonight. Inside the final minute, first quarter. Now, travels. They go two for one here. Tenerife, Massas off the screen. Rescreen says rolls. Gile moves it on to Steiger. Finds Gile. Another open look. Can't get it. It's going to be a foul over the back. Cusino picks it up. And uh, it'll be team fouls. Yeah, you can see he just moves his man, Rusino. Italian, 25 years of age. And back to Italy then. Well, I want a big one today. So he had a, a strong game last week. 16 points, 21 minutes for him. But he's going to... Uh... Send Marco Uguri to the line. He makes the first. Good too. We have a tied game at 20 here. End of the first quarter. Sass will hold and wait. See if he can make this the final shot of this quarter. Steiger waiting. Comes to screen. No. Nope. They go the other way. Looking for Steiger in the corner. Defense recovers. Tough shot from the Sass. Goes to Steiger though. He gets it away. Comes up short. One final chance perhaps. Haynes has it from the half. He wasn't too far away, Marcus Haynes. But a, uh, an entertaining first quarter here. 20 apiece. After 10 minutes. Expected a, a slightly faster pace, but so both teams so good offensively. Still got a high-scoring one here. Uh, and you've got to say, Vanessa will be frustrated with the foul problems they've got so far. Numbers pretty similar for both teams. Tenerife fake. Extra three. To make this a tied game here. Well, this is some of the highlights. Ramos started with a three. We see there are a lot of shooters on the floor here today. Not sure what though has been the star for Venezza without shooting a three. He has gone three or four from the field. Seven points from him. He's only played six and a half minutes. He had to come out without Austin Day. He tips the ball out of bounds there. He went out early, picking up two fouls. That was after he made that beautiful little hesitation move there. But Day went to the bench. Three minutes, 34 seconds he played. Scored two points. He had to go out for Tenerife. Iverson started off pretty strongly, scoring in and around the basket, four points, but Thaddeus McFadden 
despite the fact he's only one of three from the field. He has uh, eight points personal. He had five shots from the line to lead the way for Tenerife. Second quarter underway then. And Haynes has it. Quick reversal. And defense on their far side, on the near side. Tough three from the corner. Hits the top of the backboard. Shot clock winding now. And now Tenerife in transition. The Sass kicks it. A slow pass to Steiger. Defense recovers well. Sass off the screen. Ryan says, the foul line jump shot for him. Does it go? What? Grabs in a rebound. That is everything so far. Turn and finish. Liga with a good score at the ring. First points for him. Stronger draws the foul. <laughs> like the call. Push on the arm from him. here just trying to get something clarified on the score table finally good to go sass brings it in steiger waited kicks it out doesn't go and three and Brusino. And up, stops thought about it finds haynes now Turner against size has the advantage, goes to Haynes as the help comes and Haynes knocks it down for three. Second triple for Haynes. The lob and Says finishes. But Sass doing what he does again, getting into that lane, throws it high, looks for his uh, Spanish counterpart. And Sebastian says four points for him. Haynes holds and waits. Wants this screen to come. Picks it up. Ramos on the foul line. Crowd groans as it bounces clear. And once more, Vasas coming off that early screen. Says comes, slips, doesn't get it. So he'll come once more. Steiger putting it on the floor. Now there's a switch. Stays has it, spins, what? Meets him. And says misses. 
A good rotation defensively. Oh, Venezia. No post. Michael yeah. is fouled by Says. Yeah, you can see just the push in the back from Says. Substitution, what goes out? He's going to come back in. He's got the two. And the stone comes in as well. So two guys playing with two fouls into the game. Venezia. Stone has it. Goes to Day. They're trying to make up for lost time. He's got a good matchup against Niang. Just to tip it away. Not sure that's the matchup that Tenerife will be wanting. And they switch back. Gilo picks up Day. And picks up the more traditional five man in a. Uh, Haynes turns and fires. Already made two, make it three. Haynes with his third triple. Sass. Oh, beautiful little pass to the inside, but a left boot was just enough for Venezia. Yang was about to uh, introduce himself to the game there with a big dunk. <laughs> Vitoretta is not a happy man with the performance. Sits there, non plus face. That's the drive. And good finish for Nicholas Cusino. I want to have a good game coming back to Italy, I'm sure, Brasino. It is Day. Hands it off. Haynes feeling it. But this one bounces clear. Niang with the rebound. Now remember, Amado and Niang having a big game in that semi-final as Brasino goes all the way. Back at the final four in 2017. Came off the bench. Had a spell of about four minutes. Really did change the game between Tenerife and Venezia. Both ends of the floor got a couple of blocks. And at least one massive alley-oop as well. So he'll have some good memories as San, Rod San Miguel, excuse me, Rodrigo San Miguel comes back in. Replacing Basas goes to the bench. Two points, two rebounds for him. And Brasino. Get the roll on the first. <laughs> Yang on the glass, but good hand on it, but it was tipped away by Watt. And Day brings it down. Four point advantage for Venezia. What? Find some space, kicks it out, they move the ball beautifully to Stone. This three way too long though. It's a good team basketball from the Italian team, but we didn't get the finished product. Steiger kicks it out. Rossino. Mr. Gile tries to put it on the floor, has a step, reverses it. Beautiful finish for two. Gile has that uh, perimeter shot, makes him a difficult matchup. Use that threat to get to the ring against a, a man in Austin Day. He knows he's already got two fouls. Might want to pick up his third. Day now. Fouled by San Miguel. That's exactly what he's doing. The point guard. Pushed his man out of the block. So Mabramitis returns for Tenerife at a long break. As Day brings it in. What? Reverses it. Ramos on the drive. Can't finish, but what does? Once more, Mitchell Watt providing the offense for Venezia. Venezia. Rossino, a couple of screens, sets his feet. 
makes the three. Well, he comes into this game with great confidence. After the, uh, the big game last week. Five points for him. Ramos fouled by Brasino. No need for him to be reaching in at that point. Daly inbound. Oh, he's going to come off the screens, collects it high. Good defense from Abramidas. They attacks again, though, has some space. Oh, a little fake. He's whistled for the travel. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, good call. Shuffled the feet. As he attempted to make the little shovel pass. Referee's on top of it. Coach uh, Chus Fidoretta looks on. He does not seem a happy man here today with his team's performance. They are just trailing by one point, though, on the road. It's unbeaten. Venezia. And Miguel is off the screen and is fouled by Bremos. The whistle has come out from the crowd. I feel they've been hard done by with some of these calls. Just see the body language of Coach Bidoretta is not happy with his team's performance at this moment. Yang gives it to San Miguel. Now Steig. He's off the screen, has a lot of room to the runner. Really his game, but Yang there to clean it up. Fresh 14, he's got to find somebody to pass it to. Eventually Brasino becomes available to a more boost from the crowd. Yang rolls, collects it, and Yang can't get the finish at the basket. Let's see it coming the other way. What? Attacks the baseline, kicks it. They've got the advantage here. Defense recovers well, though. San Miguel always so active away from the ball. Day off the screen, an offensive foul. Mitchell Watt. That'll be called for the illegal screen. Didn't look much in that one. Of course, didn't have a great angle there. Let's <laughs> see the thoughts of the Italian fans and coaching staff. Maybe San Miguel has been known to uh, perhaps play up foul calls in the past. Abramidis for three. Can't get it, and foul is going to be in the back against Baydan. And we'll have a timeout called here. The game which has lost some of its rhythm in this last minute. All the whistles. And let's see who took it over here. Just listening to see what they have to say. 41 for Julian. Okay. The second call is two down for Mitch. Julian, cross screen and we go. Michael, you cross screen. Okay. Sorry. We go uh, Mitch cross screen. Mitch, Mitch cross screen. And we got here, ball inside. Okay. Controlling better the situation, especially the different roles eh, with Watt in position four. Okay. Eh, we, we need to know that these situations, four or five, are uh, combo, but ball screen lateral is blue. Four or five situation with Watt. Okay. It's blue. In offense, eh, we don't want to play ball oh! screen as a rule with the point guard. They pass under every time, arriving, okay? We, I call sort with, with Ferran, but if we want to make sort, for example, with that, but we can use other situations. Thumb, forties, chests, okay? Venga, vamos, vamos.
Haynes will bring it down after the timeout then. Let's see how these teams could execute instructions of their coach. This is the play, Stone in the block. Double team's going to come for him. Finds Haynes for three. Oh, he made his first three, but Stone somehow managed to uh, get the ball there. Before Baydan comes the other way. Five on four. Can't find the advantage. Tenerife, they bring it out. McFadden's back in. He stops, gets his man on his back, but he's forced to push it back out into the hands of San Miguel. He'll use the ball screen. Now Abramaitis to Iverson, who spins and finishes against Bramos. A little clash between the two of them after the score. And whistle. Let's see it come the other way now. Handing it over to Ramos. Day has been quiet. What? Who hasn't? Takes the contact and goes the line. And Iverson says, oh, where's the, my foul down the opposite end? This is clearly a whistle against him, but I, I think he has a point the opposite. Play should have uh, been an and one for him too. Oh, the player's unhappy. What at the line then? What a game for him so far. Nine points, 13 minutes. And he went to uh, Buffalo University, actually from Arizona. Another strong league, uh, another strong game. He's a FIBA Euro Cup champion with Messi last year. San Miguel trying to find some room. Defense holds firm though, so McFadden, who started off hot, crosses over, loses his man, takes the hit and gets the drop on the layup. Well, such a quick crossover from McFadden. Just missed it there with the replay. The left to right, too much for Dunno. Second foul against Two Nuts. McFadden, 10 points, making 11 with his two field goals. Steiger getting a little treatment on that left shoulder. Check is okay. McFadden has carried the offensive load here. Him and Iverson combined for 17. What spins Baydan? Tough matchup for him, giving up some size, but holds firm there. And Iverson does a good job. I think he got a piece of it to tip it away, save the two. Abramidis hands it over to McFadden. An offensive foul. Iverson <laughs> doesn't like it. He's got to be careful Not to pick up the technical. He will go out. Last 88 seconds, third foul against Iverson, frustrating for him. Picked up those two quick ones in the last minute. Ramos goes out. And the Nicolaus in. Nicolaus waiting for Haynes. Here he is. Finding Day. Day off a couple of screens, pulls up. Doesn't make it though. Fouls really have uh, hampered his production. Day just hasn't seemed to have found his rhythm in the first half after spending so long. What? And it's a foul. Not a happy man with the call. I think that's a foul as well. There's been a lot of complaining. I think the officials overall have had a good game so far. Of course, there's always going to be some calls that I was unhappy with. But Pretty much you had a good game from that crew so far. Baydan makes the first. Second is good. And Nicolau enters as we hit one minute remaining in this first half. Four point advantage now for Tenerife. What? Roll into the ring. The Nicola had a look but lost the ball, has to put it on the floor, finds Watt, takes the contact, can't finish, great stand from Says. 
straight up from him. Pay down in the low block. There's the advantage against the smaller man. Chorella finds Saiz for another dunk. Another double team comes, Saiz the finisher. Off a great pass from Baydan and a timeout called here because Tenerife slowly, slowly, slowly chipping away, building a larger and larger lead. They have the advantage now, 38 to place 32. And then it's here going to call the timeout. The difference is only this, because the one-on-one, -on -one, they go score. Spend a foul, spend a foul, better than they score. Spend a foul. We go one shot, we go four down, four down. We got Paul for Mitch, okay, here, screen, watch out. Paul, do I say? Front two Javi, Tad, Javi, Pierre, and Sebas atrás, vale? 21. Si la coge intentar, arriesgamos. En la segunda línea que mira. The second line, thinking in the shooters, okay? 21. And in offense, in offense, we have at least six seconds, okay? If we can, we put the ball immediately with that, and that play goes to go. Bit of pressure will be coming from Tenerife. Just trying to slow some time away from Venezia. Haynes with nine points. Three for three start. And on the three point line, missed his last two though. Let's see, do now enter. Uh, gets it to De out. He comes off the high screen. Turn out a great little rip to find some room. Jumper doesn't go. Ten seconds left. A lot of time for Tenerife. Bedan has it. Comes off the screen. Still got time. Pulls up. Makes it. Caps off a fine first half. Heavy Bedan with a pull up jump shot. And Tenerife, a great second quarter, sees them open up a 40 to 32 lead here at the half against Dumano Area Venezia. Now you see the statistics. We knew both teams could shoot it from the outside. They've done a pretty good job of that. Tenerife just slowly but surely chipping that lead to make it larger and larger, but. Venezia having to play without key guys because of foul trouble for large points in that first half. I think they'll believe they can get themselves back in the game with guys like Austin Day and Julian Stone on the floor. And there there are double figure scorers, McFadden and Watt, 11 apiece to lead the way for their teams. Haynes chipping in with nine. At the team affair for Tenerife. Really helping them out, 40 points in that first half. A Tenerife offense that we know is one of the best in this competition. They come in and have shot better than 50% in every game. Oh, sorry, having shot better than 50% over their first three games. And the only team yet to have a single digit game. Looking good for this one. So Gonna have a break in action here. We'll be back in about 10 minutes' time to see if Tenerife will continue their lead or if they'll be away back for Venezia.
Pica Benevento, da 130 anni per sé a Reiva Venezia, a Pigliamino, Tessuti e Laggi, Pica Benevento, dal 1883 a Venezia, eleganza senza tempo. Arrivare in Alto Venezia è un lusso di sbaglio, c'è il progetto Latting, vicino al centro e con una struttura moderna e conveniente. Vai su www.interpartinitalia.it e scopri le nostre idee.
Centro Pietro Parking, qua il canestro con il parcheggio. Dottor Gianni Maragò, medico di Lugo, dottor Iatra Paolo Venezia. Da 30 anni offre assistenza qualificata e di alto livello in campo odontoriale. Dottor Gianni Maragò, 041 4102 22. Agenzia immobiliare Cadetti e a Venezia in campo Santa Maria. Scegli la professionalità, scegli il Cadetti. Ristorante ai Petrani. Cucina tipica anziana nel cuore della laguna. Ristorante ai Petrai e a Murano in Fondamenta Marì 29. Leonardo Immobiliare Venezia. Da più di vent'anni sul mercato a Venezia, Vito e Terra Terra. www.leonardoimmobiliarevenezia.it Moro Francesco Trasporto. Da oltre dieci anni specializzati nei trasporti regolari di ogni tipo, anche con refrigerazione. Per informazioni 348-04-55216. Super Basket, la rivista del basket italiano e ora online. www.superbasket.it JDB, informatica e web del business. JDB opera in quattro settori. Assistenza sistemistica, centralini per comici noi, noleggio stampanti in multifunzione, web marketing. Le informazioni visita il sito www.cnpnet.com oppure contattaci allo 041 862 6205. Welcome back to Venice then, half the time here. Unhappy crowd because the hometown team currently undefeated in Venezia. Trail by eight to Abira Star Tenerife, the other unbeaten team in Group B. Tenerife in the second quarter, 20 to 12. We talked about the, uh, the offensive firepower of both these two teams coming in. That defensive effort for Tenerife holding Venezia to just 12 points. And that second 10 minute spell really has changed the game. And Mitchell Watt, you can see there, the key guy for the Venezia scoring. He has 11 points personal. 
surprising that there is no uh, Austin Day in the top scorers for Venezia. The man who came in to this one averaging 19.7 points per game, 58% for three. Austin Day, but he was hampered with foul trouble. Picked up two in the first two and a half minutes of play. And had to spend a long time on the bench. Such a difficult thing to get that rhythm back. Just really struggled Day when he did return. Two points, three rebounds for him. And then also Julian Stone picked up two fouls as well. And he is scoreless so far in this one. Ricordiamo che i clienti sono offerti da Pelletta Cusina con i suoi servizi attivi tutto l'anno. Varga auto e i collegamenti diretti in preferenza da Veroni. Consulta gli orari delle linee su Pelletta Cusina. Julian Stone still searching for his first point of the night. It's been a tough scoring season for him in the Barcelona Champions League so far. In his first three games, he's only made one field goal, one of 12 from the field. And known for more than scoring. This team are going to need more from him. His numbers won't have gone up today. star two from the field but he is out there Vidmar, Stone, Haynes, Day and Bramos the five for Venezia Tenerife on the defensive end first possession Pedan, Chile, McFadden, Says and Miguel changing the starting lineup for them Chile trying to find some room and Day called for his second travel he's not happy Dustin Day nothing working for him Good call from the official. And a rough night for the former Gonzaga man. McFadden off the high screen. Baydan kicks it over. San Miguel can't get it. Says so he's caused a nuisance both ends of the floor since his introduction. McFadden doesn't hit on the three. Day pushing on his own. One against three. Can't finish. Stone grabs the rebound. Day wants it under the ring. Sneaks a little look. The bounce is clear. Defense just didn't know where he was, but couldn't make them pay. McFadden off the high screen. Goes the other way. Good feed from him to find Says. He's rejected from behind. Day cleans up on the outside. Now he's going to put it on the floor. Loses it. And it goes to Tenerife. Two turnovers already in this half for Austin Day then. And Day goes out. What comes in? Hey Dan. Off this high screen, staple of the Tenerife offense, finds Sam Aguilar. He brings it high, it saves the screen on the other side. Gilo puts it on the floor. His pass predictable, trying to look for saves. Two seconds on the clock. Not trying to save it. Possession, two seconds on the clock. Gillet fires it with a good clean look, doesn't get it. Stone pitches in on the rebounding, helps his team out. What? Feeds Vidmar. And Vidmar gets the score.
McFadden. Oh, tough finish from McFadden. Just goes through the gears and it looks like he's going to get the steal. Valencia just not at the races. Paydan enters. This lead building again for Tenerife. Paydan in the low post now. Back and down against Bramos. Little jump hook doesn't go. Edmark turns it over. It's the ninth turnover of the game for Valencia. McFadden pulls up. He's caught in the air though, gives it back. It'll turn over his own, but he's going to steal it. McFadden, now he's going to fire the three. Doesn't drop. What grabs in the rebound? Well, both teams losing their way there. A calamity of errors. Neither team able to punish the other. So Haynes slows it down. This is his man with the behind the back dribble. Now kicks it to Ramos. Good defense from Baydan to get back in front though after the fake and say this is going to uh, be the last man to touch as it bounces out. Miguel wide open. He started the game with a three, hasn't made one since. Haynes. And some weights. Now he'll attack. Great pass out for Ramos. And he's got a tough finish at the ring over Says, which he makes. Ramos, known as a shooter, shows the versatility to his game there. Says his foul by it. What? She never brings it in. The three is up. Doesn't fall for Baydan. Haynes pulls up, and he knocks it down. He got hot in the first half for a period, Haynes. Made his first three, fourth triple for him. All 12 coming from me on the three-point line. McFadden kicks it, quick pass from San Miguel to Baydan. Javi Baydan trying to make something happen here. That's foul by Vidmar. He just... Let's his head fall to the ground. <laughs> you can see his reaction. Thought it was the offensive foul. Didn't get the whistle though. Valencia pulled this back. Three point lead for Tenerife at one stage. It was out to eight. And it felt like they, they had the opportunity to blow the game open. Tenerife just a short moment ago. McFadden through the gears, turns it over. Nearly manages to get it back as Day is back on the floor and picks up the loose ball. Here is Stone. He nearly lost it, but it falls to Watt. He gets it from uh, Haynes. Now Bramos. Fouled on the drive. I think this can be given as a... Uh, foul on the floor. Good call. See how Romano is reaching in. Stoga comes in. Some strapping on that left shoulder, didn't see in the first half. What? Ramos. And now Day. Back 
taking it out. Trying to isolate against Iverson, pulls up, takes the three. Doesn't fall. Tenerife chance to tie the game with a three of their own here. Steiger looks like he's hurt. Sure if it's that left shoulder again. He's got it strapped up. He's uh, getting treatment on it in the first half. Trying to set the screen, and I think he took a shot to the shoulder. He goes out. Brusino comes in. And down in the corner. Attack Stone, the defensive Stone holding his ground. Right. Legally, according to the referee. Third team foul against Venezia. Zone out bounds for him, perhaps. And switch back into man to man if it was a zone. Redan has it. He gets the switch. Five on the clock now. Fires over the top of uh, Mitchell Watt. Doesn't go. Stone with the rebound. Haynes stops, goes, finds Watt wide open. In and out. Haynes is there with a the rebound. Nearly loses it. And eventually gets it back into the hands of Julian Stone. Now Bramos trying to find somebody as a foul is going to be called against San Miguel. Trying to get back underneath uh, what on the roll. Called for the foul, but Sass comes in. What? With a lot of room, Iverson fell to the floor, finds Haynes. And he's not going to miss that. Marcus Haynes. Look for him. He pulls his team and it's here within one here. 41 plays 42. A 9 2 third quarter so far. What has happened to the Tenerife offense? The Sass, who often is a man who can create offense for others, goes to Iverson. Iverson looking around. Baydan hits him on the roll. Iverson can't finish. The cold spell continues for Tenerife. Here comes Stone. What squaring up, draws two, skips it to Haynes, who's feeling it, and it's good. String music for Marcus Haynes, his fifth three of the night, and he gives Venezia the lead back once again. It is 44 to 42, and a timeout called by Tenerife. They had a, a six point advantage, 28 to 22. Halfway through that second quarter. Venezia. That was about the time that Tenerife really started their run, but now they have regained their lead once again. Three, four seconds. You get a stop, play, take foul. We don't take foul to go to free throws. We miss all the advantages in three pointers, in fast break. When we attack the cross out, when we attack the ball screen, then we can follow. Let's go, let's go. Ask his team to play physical here. What a third quarter it's been. 12-2 advantage for the Italian team. And remember, these are the two unbeaten teams left in Group B. Sass to Aramidas, gets it back again. Two screens for him. Anderson rolls, but great defence once more from Venezia. 
Haynes still gets his man in front of him, but Sass has to take the tough three, but he makes it. How did that fall? Great shot from Ferran Abbas. Basas. Three points for him on the night. He's only made so far. And Tenerife, a team shooting it so well. Coming in from beyond the three point line, just 26% uh, tonight. Day trying to find some room. Two on the clock, steps through. And will that get Austin Day going? Just the second field goal for the number nine. Fadden slips. Look at the defense of Haynes. Not giving it any room to his man. Fadden with a tough run up. Can't get it. Stone with the rebound. Now look at Julian Stone pushing the ball. Venezia with some momentum here. Haynes today. Double teams coming. They're going to find. Beliga open on the cut, yeah, unsportsmanlike foul, I think. So, double team came on the post. Great recognition from Beliga. Beliga. The cut. The ball, it is an unsportsmanlike foul, so it'll be two shots and possession for Venezia. Fourth foul on Abramitis. We talked about the foul trouble against um, Venezia in the first half. Was that a reason for their stuck struggles? As now Tenerife might have to do the same. No, Abramitis, their leading scorer. Coming into the contest here. It was, in fact, a, a regular foul, not a sportsmanlike foul, as I mistakenly said. So just the two free throws. And a three point lead for Venezia. And Fadden trying to find some room. Let's sit back. He's having to really be the main creator here, but defense so good from Venezia. McFadden is better, though. Touches it off the glass for two. 15 now, sorry, 13 for Thaddeus McFadden. Well, 13 or 15. <laughs> it says 13 on my screen. I thought it was going to go to 15, but it didn't. And Stone has it in the low block, kicks it. Nick Lau trying to find some room, two on the clock. He sells the fake, gets his man past him and knocks down the jump shot. Poor breakdown defensively from Basas. Finds McFadden has had the hot hand. Great defense once again. Venezia not giving any room. And Sass has to take that tough three once more. This time he doesn't get it to go. So Nicolau gets it over. Last 12 seconds of the third quarter. Venezia trying to cap off what is a superb quarter here for them. They've uh, turned over the advantage that Tenerife had, taken a lead of their own, 18 to 7 here. Now called. Pupaliga goes out. So no, it brings it in. Into the hands of Day. Seven for him. Stops, goes again. Niang challenges it. Day gets his rebound though. Day puts it home to cap off the third. Austin Day with the uh, putback of his own miss. And Venezia come from behind to dominate the third quarter. 20 to 7. And open up the three point lead here. Oh, sorry, five point lead. 52 to 47. There is the confirmation, Venezia 52 to 47, lead over Libera Star Tenerife. And the numbers, great percentages. Well, Venezia, perhaps a two point percentage could get a little higher. 
But Tenerife, a team known for the way they shoot the three-point shot. Haven't done that so far. And there is work to do for the Spanish team. No one has got within single digits, let alone taken a victory from this Tenerife team in the Basel Champions League this year. But Venezia are undefeated themselves. Looking good right now. Five-point advantage going into the final quarter. See some of the highlights. Ramos started off pretty strongly for his team in that third quarter, but for me it was about the play of uh, that man there. Marcus Haynes, 17 points, 6 of 8 from the field, 5 of 7 for 3. He has done a tremendous job. And there is one of those five threes. He was fired up. Winston Day started to find his range as well. Six points for him. And for Tenerife, outside of McFadden, who has 15. No one else really coming to give him some support. The, uh, the center duo of Iverson and Says has uh, six apiece. Lucino has five. Well, leading scorer, Tim Abramidis, has gone to the bench with four fouls. And he has zero points in this one. Averages 13 a game coming in. And he's one of just two double-figure scorers on average for this Tenerife team alongside Javi Baydan. And himself has had a quiet game. Four points, one of five from the field. The lob. Yang finishes! Well, we said going back to the final four in Tenerife two years ago, that's exactly what Niang gave to his team to give them a spark. Will that be it here? First points for him. Now he's got to try and guard Day. Who is rejected by Niang, making plays both ends of the floor. Numbers for Tenerife in transition. Then Nicolau commits the foul. Sideline possession. Fan eventually, eventually gets it in. And Brasino has it taken away. Goody. Just couldn't keep it in bounds, so quick hands here. Look at this. Tips it only onto the line. McFadden. Loses his man, but Turner recovers well. Great defense from the Italian international. Three seconds now. Gile for three. Can't hit it. Five for the rebound. Yang was uh, challenging against a couple of guards from Venezia. Not sure how that matchup happened. And second foul against the Nicolau. Vidmar and Watt come in. A place on the front line. Organetia. Fadden trying to find some room. Finds Lucino. He's isolated against Vidmar. He's got to back it out. Takes the long three and knocks it down. Nicholas Brusino, second three for him. Eight points personal. And he ties the game here, 52 apiece. What? Oh, throws a beautiful pass to Vidmar. Defender not looking. Vidmar has it taken away, though. Rusino, chance to run, finds Niang and nearly loses it. Tenerife, slow it now. Lassas finds Gile. Well, he's missed a couple. But Pierre-Anton Gillet, a man known for his three-point threat, knocks down his first three. And after saying this Tenerife team has not hit from beyond the three-point line the way they usually do, they go back-to-back -back triples and give themselves the lead. Keep calm. Keep calm. 
We go Julian, Michael, Stefano, Mitch and Gapi. We go one round side for Mitch. Round side for Mitch. Better with pass. Okay. And we go this cut and cross screen. Stefano cross screen. Okay. And then we finish here for the ball into me. Now it's what, okay? Remember, low post, fondo. In this side, okay, and this other, up. For attack, in attack. La serie 40 con bloqueos. Set 40 with the screens between two and three, or three and two. Vale, para recibir. Vale. What a recovery from Tenerife. A game of runs here, 8-0 for the Spanish team to start this fourth quarter after Vanessa had that, that stunning 20-7 third period. McFadden, 15 points for Tenerife. The only man in double figures for his team. For three, no, oh, he knocks down his first three. Ties it, 55 apiece. Changing defense for Venezia then. It's like a, a zone. As Niang has the mismatch around the inside, but it's tipped away. Tona, after making the three, gets the deflection. And now off the screen, finds Vidmar. But they've got to kick it out into the hands of Julian Stone. What? Backing it down. And he's going to be fouled by Gillet. Gillet knew he was in trouble, reaches in. Sacrifices the personal. Finds what? Gile forcing him along the baseline. Shot clock down to just three. Turner's going to have to fire it up. He gets it away and he hits the ring. Stone there for the offensive rebound. 11th rebound of the game for Stone. Doesn't lead to the three, but look at the work of Vidmar and what? What collects it? And now Tona glides in for the two. The crowd rise. Venezia take the lead back once more. Effort plays from the Italians. First Julian Stone, then Watt and Vidmar on the glass before Tona finishes it off. Niang on the inside. This time, can he find the space to finish? No. Leaves it on the front of the ring. Vidmar snatches in the rebound. Tona attacks along the baseline. Another one. Scored five in this fourth quarter alone. At that time, it rolls out. McFadden crosses over, gets a finish. Once more, it's that left to right crossover of McFadden, loses his man, takes the contact. And there's a chance to add the bonus here to give his team the lead once more. McFadden, 17 on the game. Haynes comes in, great rest for him. Tonut goes out after some strong play. Watt picks up his fourth. He will remain in the game, though. Haynes at the point. I've seen him play off the ball a lot tonight. This is it. Stone collects. And waits for Ramos. They give it back to Stone. And now, in isolation of Haynes. Tough three from him that time. He has made five. Wayward as Passas comes the other way. To San Miguel. San Miguel. Finds Passas. He's made a three, but misses that one. Easy rebound for Dave. 
Both teams missing their looks. Starting off the screen. Today, he doesn't miss too many. And an off night for Austin Day. 0 of 2 for 3. Six points personal for him. The Sass one way, then the other. Gets to the inside, finds Iverson who finishes it. The Sass with the assist. Got deep in the paint, Iverson. Does a good job making himself available. So Marife now, the three point lead is Stone. Flips it over today. Tips away from him, but will remain with Venezia. Behind the neck pass, behind the head pass from Julian Stone as Ali Baydan comes in. So if we can finish off the game here. In conversation with the officials. Foul is going to be called against Baydan away from the ball. Going to hold on to Ramos. Third team foul against Tenerife. Second against Baydan. Again. He tries to trap him on the far side. He finds Watt. He turns it over. Just kind of lost it. What? As he was looking to make the pass, the Sass will, after pushing it down, take his time. Finds Baydown with a little backdoor cut. Defense called sleeping. Beautiful pass and awareness from the Sass. Baydown always in movement away from the ball and Tenerife. Force the timeout, 62 to 57 here. A 15 to five fourth Situation quarter run for Tenerife. Better one ball in and spend the foul, guys. Spend the foul. In offense, we need to work for the ball in. Also after roll, we go Gapi for Mitch. We go two side, on Julian. Two side. We play on this side. Pick, screen down, Austin. Uh, sorry. Here, the five men screen down Gapi. End off. Take time for the flare. Running pick and shift behind. Okay? You can also play the second call. Round side movement. But in the other, yes. In the other, with Keynes here, we cannot help with Keynes too. Tenemos que pasar. And spend one ball even. We need to pass with him. No cut, no cheat. Pass with him. Y avisar los bloqueos. Vamos. The man who's been there at the highest levels. Have an impact to play in this fourth quarter. His team would love him to come up. A couple of baskets, but that seems to have summed the game up. Assass, the energy, the enthusiasm tips it. An easy entry pass from Day. He's going to get into the hands of Stone. He comes the pressure on Smalls. Haynes collects it. Haynes, a man who played in that final four defeat to Tenerife. Haynes has it for the day. Good defense from San Miguel. Ramos pulls up and is fouled by Baydan as the buzzer sounds. Baydan not happy with the call. Ramos will be at the line though. Let's have a look. Let's see from that angle. 23 great seconds of defense. Um, uh, Tenerife undone by a foul in the final second. A chance for Venezia here. Ramos misses the first. First miss of the season for Ramos from the line. 
That's the roll on the second. Makes it a four-point game here. Four minutes remains. Defense for Venezia. Sass off the screen. Now they'll switch into man to man. The Italians. Sass trying to find something. Skips it to Gile. Four on the clock for him. Haynes right in front of his man. Forces the bad shot. Misses everything. Here comes Austin Day. Wants it in the post. The defense switches onto him. Leaves Bramos open for three. Brings them within one. Great find from Day. Saw the double team coat coming. Found his man on the far side. Nine points for Ramos. One point between the two. Gile kicks it out. San Miguel now waits for Iverson to come set this screen. Iverson's rolling to the ring, but instead they go to Baydan. Off to the left. Gile with the offensive rebound. And now Basas for three. He doesn't get it. And if they go down. Tenerife, that is the reason why. Open looks, they failed to hit. Haynes with a lot of room, backing it down. Waiting to see what the defense does. Then he's going to turn it over. Hangs his head in disappointment, Haynes. Just drop it down into Vidmar. Yeah, but Vidmar stepped towards the ring at exactly the wrong time. With possession, Tenerife then leading by one. McFadden using the high screen, defense switching. Takes the three and buries it. McFadden with a huge three for Tenerife. Second three for him. He's got 21 on the game. A four point lead now for Tenerife. Still plenty of time remaining. Haynes picks it up. Day buried in the corner, pushes off against Abramidas to get the room and knocks down the jumper. We hit two minutes left. Crunch time here in Venice. But Fadden off the screen. Can't finish. Iverson had a hand on the rebound, but Venezia pull it in. Now they'll come in transition. Gotta have a hand up on Haynes. He bullies his way to the basket and will shoot two. Too much power. On the drive, more San Miguel there. Haynes gets himself to the line. And we'll shoot two here. First trip to the line. Vidmar heads to the bench. Mitchell Watt comes back in. He's playing with those four fouls, Watt. There's Haynes. Shot it so well tonight, makes the first, five of eight for three. Six of nine from the field, 18 points personal. And attempts to tie it at 65, which he does. 65 apiece there, 140 left. Stay down, looking for McFadden, he collects it. This is the man they want with the ball in his hands. Double team comes, McFadden skips it over to Abramidas. Scoreless on the night, Abramidas finds Baydan. Bayran's going to be out of bounds though. And possession with Venezia. Abramidas put it on the deck, no one really came to help, no one really believed that he was looking to score. And Baydan had his feet on the sideline. Just the seventh turnover of the game for Tenerife, but it could be a crucial one. Haynes now, using the screen from Watt, gets into the lane. Haynes has it bounced clear, a fight for the rebound, and it goes to Colton Iverson. What an opportunity that was, looked like it was going to get the drop. As McFadden now can take his time inside the final minute. Abramidis gets it back to McFadden. McFadden stops, fires, tough shot, doesn't go. Rebound to Abramitis, who lays it up for his first points of the night to give his team the lead with 43 seconds to go. Abramitis from the three-point line runs in. No one gets a body on him.
powers his way through the foul for the two. 0 for 3 he was before that. It was a rough night for Tim Midas. Scoreless, no assists, four fouls. But a chance for him to make it a three-point game here inside the final minute. And, of course, Abramidis knocks it down. No timeout for Venezia here. He'll come immediately. Hand it off to Haynes. They don't need the three. They'll take it if they've got it, though. Day. Trying to find some room. Turns it over. Fight for the ball. Haynes can't exit. Shot clock still winding down. Pulls the trigger. Doesn't get it. And Iverson again. Another huge rebound for Tenerife. Iverson, six rebounds on the game. But the last two have just been huge for Tenerife. 19.6 seconds left. And there's a stunned silence here in Venice as Colton Iverson has a chance to make it a two-possession game. He has yet to go to the line here tonight, Iverson. Oh, he's campaigned that he should have a couple of times. Makes this one. He is a solid free-throw shooter. Limited number of attempts in the Champions League, but is yet to miss through his first three games. And he goes two of two. The lead now five points with 19 seconds to go. Timeout called by Venezia. They will advance the ball. They will surely need to go for three from the out of bounds. Okay, guys, watch out. We go double curl and flat for Cats. Okay, so we got Austin here, Mitch here. You do inbound. Michael. As a stagger, use this. Ball to Cats. Austin, clear out here. Mitch behind the defense. It's okay also two points. Okay, or you shoot it or we attack immediately. Then we need to spend foul immediately, eh, guys. It's a long game. Now we have to set the, the game as long as possible. So everybody, hey. Timmy, where you were, where you were, switching gates in any, in any gate situation. Switch, okay? In ball screens, in ball screens, eh, we defend with switch and close to let him go inside. Okay? Let's go, Slap line possession for Vanessa. And Coach De Rafael said that they can go for two if it's there. They want to make this game as long as possible for this final 17 seconds. Vidoretta organizing this team. See lots of switches coming from them. On with the smaller lineup. San Miguel cleared. Finds Stone for three. Doesn't get it. And Bader grabs in the rebound. Well, it was a great opportunity. Julian Stone had an open look, but he has not made shots from the three point line during this basketball Champions League season so far. Julian Stone, one of ten coming in. And he's going to foul out here. They down at the line. Makes the first. Stretches the lead to six. Head-to-head -head result, of course. So important between these two teams. Points count for everything here. The lead to seven now off the Bayran make. De Nicolau. Trying to find some room. Gets to Day. Day for three. Doesn't go. The rebound tipped into the hands of Gile. They're going to try and get one final shot from the half. It doesn't go, but Tenerife will be the only unbeaten team now left in Group B. They take the victory here tonight, 72 to 65 over Umana Area Venezia. Well, after a disaster of a third quarter for Tenerife, in which they were outscored 7 to 20, they recovered to take the fourth 25 to 13 when it really mattered and gave themselves that seven point victory. An impressive team performance from Tenerife. They made enough threes when they needed to down the stretch. Smiles for them.
Ukraine. They will move to 4 and 0 in the Group B. And hand Venezia their first loss of the competition. Austin Day, high fives with the crowd. He struggled tonight as we see the percentages and the rebounding battle. See their rebounding assist steals all in favour of Venezia, but the 11 turnovers for them and a big part to play. Scoring wise, McFadden 21 and Haynes. 19 for their teams to lead the way. And, uh, the support in depth for Tenerife. Iverson had a, a, a 10, Rusino had 8. And uh, Tenerife, their two leading scorers, and only two players who average double figures coming in. Both had quiet nights. Abramitis, scoreless going into the final minute, comes up with the huge offensive rebound and one finish to score the three points that may well have been enough to kind of, uh, or what was enough to give them the advantage in that final possession or so. And then to Baydan as well, making crucial free throws down the stretch, despite the fact he only had eight, four from four from the line. Well, what a game. We expected a close one. It's exactly what we got in Tenerife. Will take the victory here, 72 to 65. Move to four and zero oh in Group B. Umana Rea Venezia move to three and one. And we'll need to regroup for their game next week. So for Tenerife, they will go back home to the uh, Santiago Martin Arena. The Canary Island of Tenerife, and a tough game for them against Unit Holon. Another uh, one of the, the teams that have started off so well in Group B. And for Venezia, they will travel on the road to a Turkmen Baskets bomb team that started to find some momentum with a victory last night over the Freeborg Olympic team from Switzerland. So I'm going to say good night. From Venice as Tenerife take the victory and uh, move to the top of the standings in Group B. To work for the ball in, also after roll. We go Gabi. Vince con la vittoria 